Is ray tracing even necessary for gaming? Because if you remember those old RTX GTA 5 videos, the ones with shiny puddles, perfect reflections, and crazy good lighting made it look better than real life in some scenarios. You might start questioning it. Believe it or not, those videos didn't even use real ray tracing. Not a single bit of it. What they actually used were mods like EMB, reshade, and RTG eyes shaders. Basically cranked up post-processing, pretending to be ray tracing. Those puddles, reflections, and lighting all fake. The smart use of screen space reflections, bloom and global illumination tricks. And the craziest part about it is it worked. Those mods rivaled early RTX graphics so well that it made people believe that GTA 5 actually had a way to run ray tracing at a playable FPS. It shows that sometimes creativity and style can actually outdo next generation tech. So yeah, those so-called RTX videos from years ago might have proved something. Real or not, ray tracing might have peaked before it even started. And remember, I do the research so you don't have to.